Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. We have our Fairburn Sykes dagger out of the Tempering Cycles. And we're ready to finish grind this, hand sand it, and etch it. All right guys, I have the blade, what I'm gonna call finish ground. I also have the tang roughed in with uh, an area here for threading for the pommel nut. Now this is down to a uh, finer grit. I just have to see what the pattern looks like a little better. Looks pretty much the same, but uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Okay, so we have the blade finished sanded and looking quite nice actually it's kind of got a it's almost got sort of a medieval look to it you know it, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a neat dagger sort of after the pattern of the Fairburn Sykes but uh, you could easily go a different direction with this dagger and uh, have it turn out very nice as well the next thing we need to do is shape this tang a little bit more but first we need to test for toughness I mean fortune fire the tests that they do have nothing to do with normal knife use. That's not what knives are for. But it's for TV and it's theatrical. And sometimes the knives survive. If you manage to perform good bladesmithing in your three hour or less, depending on the project time period, then uh, your blade has a reasonably good chance of surviving. So I'm going to use this as a throwing knife right now and see if it snaps in half. Safety first. I didn't think I could do that on the first try, but I did. The tip bent as I pulled it out of the board there at an angle on purpose. It did not snap off. Okay, ridiculous and unnecessary testing complete. And the tip's a little bent. I bent it back and forth a couple of times. That is just a testament of how tough all three of these steels actually are. Um, ADCRB2, it's, it's a great steel, worked properly. It is, it is extremely tough. So that is plenty hard to hold an edge, trust me. That is just what this steel does. Nevertheless, I feel like the tip here is a little bit thin. So I'm gonna go ahead and work that a little more, which means I'm gonna have to do some more hand sanding. But hey, that's why you test your blades, right? So other than the very tip, it's uh, nice and straight. Okay, I've adjusted the tip, the point a little bit. It's a little more robust and still well within the general genre of Fairbairn Sykes. That's a little better though, in case uh, some old bloke does have to bring it to bear and the old home god or something. Looking at pictures of these, I keep seeing them uh, with with vintage copies of the Home Guard or something like that. Uh, you know, back when the British were uh, fighting to protect themselves from a regime that was bent on sort of destroying their country. Just had to go test it. Throw it against a piece of wood. All right, so we have the blade hand sanded back up again ready for the etch when we get to that point i have prepped the tang so that we can start fitting our guard and now we need to start forging on a piece of mild steel that i'm going to make the guard out of
That is what we'll make the guard from, and this will be the blade side. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. All right guys, there you have it. A really cool, super tough dagger blade, ready for a guard and a handle. And then this neatly textured piece of steel that we're gonna use to make the guard. It'll go on like so. I think this is gonna be a nice touch. So I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for supporting the channel, subscribing, notifications, button, all of that good stuff. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.